out from you. I, I legitimately just got out of the elevator. That's weird. I think that's so funny. Well, it's the only article I think that came out yet. You ready? All right, we're gonna reenact, guys. Babin did a terrible job. Didn't capture this. Like, Sid, they've got one basic job. I'm not wrong, right? Like, it's like, hey, you feel me? Now I know I transitioned from another room, but nonetheless, these guys were like, hey, did you hear about the Facebook baseball game? And I was like making pretend that I didn't. I was like, made them look at my Twitter account because I tweeted it a minute earlier. It was pretty much the greatest moment of my day. Thank you. How's it going, bro? Good, man. Thank you for, uh, thank of you for seeing me. No worries, man. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so I had, you know, obviously, like you're all over the internet, so I've seen yes. you somewhere. You yes. Know? But you know, honestly, like I never like really. I totally looked, get it. Looked into you. Yeah. Um, and I was in a. I went to Colombia because I needed like inspiration, right? And I. Colombia, the country. The country. Keep yeah. going. And I love Latin music. I love yes. like, the energy of Latin music. And I was out there, and I was hanging out with these girls, and they kept saying, "Pra Nicky Jam, Pra Nicky Jam." And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy, Nicky Jam? <laughs> so, so they, they, they played the song X that came out, and I was like, oh shit, this is hot, all right? <laughs> so then I started looking into this dude. I'm like, yeah. you know, what, what's making like these girls go crazy for him? And then I stumbled across our interview, interview with him. Yeah, your interview. And I'm like, damn. Then I started looking into him more. Then I remember, wait a minute, this dude hit me up. It worked for you, and I'm like, I need to, I need to meet this guy. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> because I watched that interview, and I was like, man, like he's saying some. Legit shit. I appreciate it, man. I took a trip to Cuba. I, I've always had a connection to, to like Spanish culture. Yeah. I went to Cuba specifically because there was no cell phone service in Cuba. Like you can't. Yeah, I'm text, aware. You can't. Yep. You know, you got to be in a hotel or something. Yep. I had this little like burner phone that I was riding around Cuba with, and I was there for a month by myself, just driving around talking to myself. Like I'm unhappy. What am I doing with my life? Like what am I doing for the rest of my life? Like I need to marry something right now that I'm gonna do forever. And I've been playing the piano since I was 10. I, was, I wrote an album when I was 16 years old. At that point, I'm like, I'm just gonna spend every fucking minute that I have just learning everything there is about music. Because I've, I've, <laughs> I've always had this talent, right? I can, like, I've always been able to play and sing and whatever, but I'm like, I'm gonna really fucking refine it and master it. And I'm still in that process. It's funny, at, the whole time you've been talking, I'm like, this kid's gonna make an impact because he's gonna do the music thing, it's gonna work, he's gonna become big, and then he's gonna wake up at 33 and he's gonna be like, what the fuck now? Yo, and I, and I need, need to go through it to wake up. 100%, but you already know that's exactly what's gonna happen. I don't know what, I don't know. I'm telling you right know, now, I know you do. I don't think that's gonna happen. You know that's gonna happen. Obviously you could die from a heart attack, but, yeah. but, but I think, right, right I now, think it's, but the reason I'm pushing you on this a little bit, it's an important thing to know I, I get at 24 and even just humility, which is usually, what people don't understand is humility is usually the answer to why someone's successful. Um, I just think it's interesting to calibrate that self-belief as well, but never letting it actually have any more energy than the humility, but not letting it have less either. Because the truth is the only thing that is actually meaningful. And so like if you truthfully, like I truthfully believe I'm gonna be unbelievably impactful on the human race, yeah. both for my selfish and selfless acts, that one could consume that and be like, what a fucking, what? You know, like cool, but if it's my truth, I can't not say it because then you're sandbagging. And sandbagging is also, yeah. you see where I'm going? Absolutely. More importantly, if you start, cal a guy that's willing to fucking ride a bike and walk on beaches for a month in Cuba to talk to himself is an interesting character and, and a good one. Meaning, it's crazy how much I talk to myself. I talk to myself more than I do anything else. Even when I'm not talking to I'm basically doing it now. Yeah. I'm always in my shit. Absolutely. Self-awareness, right? Yeah. I just think it's important for you to be okay with sometimes having a conversation with yourself that looks like this. When I'm one of the biggest artists on Spotify in seven years and touring and this and that, when I wake up in my parents' home or in a hotel in Costa Rica or in New York City or LA, when I wake up and say, oh shit, I have that feeling again, that that's awesome, not bad. Absolutely. 
Absolutely, and I feel like I've, I've evolved already through so many lives from the time I was like 16 years old that I think it's only inevitable. Hey, it's my nice guy. To meet you. Nice meeting you, man. Hey. We'll, we'll get connected. Babin, you should join us, so let's make it a trip that you're out with me. Talk to you, man. I'll, talk, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. Hello, man. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Good, good, good. So, uh, just a quick preview on this call. We're going to put music over this vlog, but like. That secret wine project. Show a little clip from back in the day for everybody who's just catching it. So I want to see we have a sheep heavy. Back in the day, three weeks ago. <laughs> I want to go through the full transition there. You can stop right there. Like I want you to go through the full transition of like to, like I want to do some of that stuff. I want to see I want to show people the the utter lack of no stopping. I think it's kind of interesting. Maybe you can hack with that for the episodes you work on. Yep. I, think I don't think people understand. Yeah. I, because I didn't. I didn't realize people actually take these big Five breaks in breaks. between things. That's what you normals do. What do I do? You take a break. You have a meeting and then like, I don't know, you take 15 minutes before your next thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, or chit chat sure. about it. Yeah, or like yeah. reminisce about the meeting you just had. Yeah, I don't, I don't, right, Lev? I don't have 40 meetings in my day. Right, right, you do not have 40 meetings in your day. <laughs> Alexa, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be dealing with that for the yeah, rest of your I fucking know. life. Uh, I agree. Uh, thanks for coming. How's it going so far? Fantastic. Awesome. Good. You filmed some shit outside when I walked in this morning, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Um, that was the dude that filmed you, right? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, that dude's, I mean, some dude's like filming outside our office. I'm like, he's definitely here for 4Ds. <laughs> uh, cool. So uh, um, why don't you guys go around and, uh, and just Tell me uh, your name, which, oh, now we have name, play. you guys are really loving up this 4D shit. There's name tags on the press. And, and to give me like a brief lay, uh, sense of what your business is about, and then we'll go back around and do one-on-one questions and we'll take advantage of it, so. All right. Brand is everything, Yeah. right? Which is why the answer to this question is really Facebook, if you give a fuck, about three years from now, not 12 months from now, right? If you work in a big corporation or a mid-sized paper or if you're short-term thinking, you're gonna spend the $14 a lead on Google. If you're smart and you think your kids are gonna run your hotel because you want it to be in the family forever, you're gonna make as much content that's valuable to people as possible and create the right accommodations because that's the only thing that supersedes transaction. The only thing that supersedes transaction is brand. Not super complicated. Always. The risk of making a $50,000 video that becomes Dollar Shave Club or Where's the Beef or Just Do It is always the answer. It's just hard. What if you go 0 for 5? You just spent $250,000 on making five videos that nobody gave a fuck about. You can't do that on Google AdWords because even, even if you pay $29 a lead, better than, you know what I mean? That's why people lose. They make the short-term decision because the short-term decision has no risk. You, you're, you're taking my opinion from when the book came out. Have you looked at my last 30 uh, posts, on, my last 60 posts on Instagram? I'm either zero or five max. There we go. <laughs> this is the most dangerous, this is why I hate writing books. This is why, this is why I keep telling people, I day trade attention. I, I literally, like, I will never give better advice than to watch what I do. You go look at my last 70 fucking posts on Insta- Instagram right now, I don't have hashtags. But, when I was doing it, that was the right thing to do. I'm being serious, I don't know what to say. Got it? That's why this game is so tough. This is why I changed it to day trading attention. It's day trading. I don't know how they, fu- you know, I don't know day trading super well and I don't know how people bought stocks back in the day, but here's what I know. It's faster now. Like, I don't know, my, literally my opinion on Snapchat could change tonight. All right. One, listen, who, do you remember, I call this the high school party rule. I haven't used this one in a while. I mean, you never heard this, have you? I think this is the most interesting move in high school culture. If you're a mid-tier popular person, you can't be the coolest and you can't be a nerd and off the grid. You have to be somewhere, I would call it lower middle class as the prime spot. Like in the rank of 300 coolest kids in your class, you are 200. You're below the middle. 
If you're lucky enough that your parents don't give a fuck or travel too much or something else in your environment, if you are able to somewhere between sophomore and junior year of high school host the party (laughs) and get everybody to come to your house and shit on your house but you held it, you go from 200 to 92 to 13. If you look at every high school, if you think back to your high school, the person that was not necessarily built to be popular freshman year who hacked the system was the one that realized that if they hosted the party, it would elevate their brand within the ecosystem. The high school party rule. That's what I want you to do as a media company. If you're hosting the podcast in a very small niche and you're the host and you're reaching out and saying, hey Rick, number one successful commercial real estate personality in all of Texas, I'd love for you to be a a guest on my show. They're like, oh shit, got it? Yeah. Whoever can host the party first wins the land grab. All right, I gotta do this call, right? I'll be back. I'll be back. Thanks, guys. I'll be back. Awesome. 100th episode. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's do it. All right. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the hashtag Celebrate Columbus Show. My name is Josh Burnett, and this guy doesn't need any introduction to the whole world, but just in case in Columbus, if you haven't heard me talking about him all the time, this is my hero. This is the guy who inspired the hashtag Celebrate Columbus show because of the hashtag Ask Gary Vee show. This is our 100th episode. This is a big freaking deal. I really want to help our city become known as the best place to live, work, and raise a family in Indiana. How would you do that in a social and voice? In the way that I inspired you to do this show, you need to inspire everybody to just vlog and story tell about how amazing your town is. I don't know what to tell you. If we can get 10% of the Columbus, Indiana like residents mm-hmm. to flat out just Tell how great their floral shop is, how great their backyard is, interview the principal, mm-hmm. it will just work. So it's, it's, it's less about what should they do, it's more about can you get momentum to inspire everybody to do what you're doing. Mm. Got it? I, In I, their way. Yeah, I want it to not just be a show, but I want it to be a channel. I get it. On Facebook. They need to produce, you gotta get people comfortable with producing content who don't think of themselves as content producers. Mm-hmm. Karen right now doesn't think she's a director like Steven Spielberg, but she has this. Yeah. And she could just be like, look how good this garden is. So there's so much. Thank you so much. That's the 100th episode of the Celebrate Columbus Show. See you soon. Where am I going? Upstairs is actually a really cool space. Uh, and it's just two brothers. Yep. Fishing. Gary, what's up, baby? What's up, my guy? How are you, man? How are you? Good, good, good. What's up, my man? Ernie, Ernie. Ernie. Virgil, nice Virgil, to meet you. How are you? How's it going? Such a pleasure. <laughs> Doing good. Gary, how you been, man? Really good, man. It smells fucking fresh in here. Oh, it smells okay. good. <laughs> This is great, man. How long you guys been in this space? Uh, about six years. Six years. Six, seven years. Six six years. It's really nice. It's real cool. Four. Before. You mean your guys' careers? Like, what was happening with you guys? Oh, oh. It's just jerk. You don't go to the host. I love this shit. You know, honestly, the origin story is so important. So before we uh, took over here, um, this was owned by two other guys. Interesting. So I started here as an intern. Really? Yeah, because I fell in love with everything that was going on here about Beast Walk Taylor. I wanted to be, I wanted to learn. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave my job. I'm gonna learn this and dive in. Dived in and I crushed it my first two months. They got rid of two people to hire me as basically an apprentice. So I really started learning under the tailors, learning under, you know, Martin Greenfield and different Leonard Locksdale and different tailors in New York City. And really starting to understand the craft. So with a long story short, you know, I built clientele, really got a lot of people who, you know, respected me and, and understood my eye. We had an opportunity in 2016 to, uh, to take over and... Uh, the, the original guys were ready to do something else? Yeah, they were kind of ready to do something else. Uh, the opportunity presented itself and I'm all about... Uh, Striking when that, yeah. And agree with you more. Yeah. Because we have this cool thing that's like a men. What about what about a pot? What about becoming a media company? 
What about my thesis? What about, I love that concept. That's the right concept for you. If you're not gonna go the attention route, and I have empathy for that, like, you know what's funny about me? I'm a tool belt. I'm like, it's a wrench. You're like, uh, I'm like, cool, I don't give a fuck. It's a hammer. Like, to me, that's why every conversation's easy for me, because it's, it's just a tool belt. Yeah. I'm like, cool, cool, next. Yeah. You, bro. Action, baby, action. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, we'll be in touch. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'll see you guys later. Good day, three more meetings. Going to one of the kind of private clubs where you can't film, so we'll see those. See ya.